Well, I'd like to look at this question of the right to self-defense, Israel's right to self-defense. So I would like to ask the question, do concentration camp guards, does a state which contains a concentration camp, if the inmates attempt to break out, would it constitute some sort of violation, moral or, or legal, of law such that the state has the right of self-defense against those confined in a concentration camp? Now, you might say, and you're perfectly legitimate in saying, but civilians were killed. And apparently, we still don't know the facts. We have to wait for the Human Rights Report investigations, apparently in large numbers. And I have to say, it doesn't please me, obviously. And I'm not happy about that fact. And I'm not going to give a but or a however. I'm simply going to state the facts. In our country's history, in our country's history, we have come to celebrate people like John Brown. In fact, during the Civil War, one of the songs that the Union troops sang in the Civil War was John Brown's body is a moldering in the grave. The God above in heaven is looking kindly down. John Brown's body is a moldering in the grave. John Brown, let's be clear. I don't know how much of the history you know. I've studied it somewhat, not as much as I would like. And if God allows me maybe 10 more years, I will read more on it. John Brown, I say this in respect. He was a complete fanatic. He was a religious fanatic. He was, brace yourself, he was a jihadi. Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely true. Yeah, Frederick Douglass asked him not to do that because it was going to set things back. He, he, he believed that God had sent him as a messenger to end slavery. He did. He was God's messenger. He had that fanatic's gleam in his eyes. When he went to fight in bloody Kansas, he took hostages in the course of the fighting. He killed them. He killed them. John Brown is celebrated. John Brown's bodies are moldering in the grave. Glory, hallelujah. There were many a slave rebellion, even in the United States, where a lot of civilians were killed. Now, I'm not saying I'm happy about it. I'm not saying I approve of it. But I will say, at the risk of incurring a lot of wrath, just as I won't approve it, I won't disapprove of it. End the blockade of Gaza. And then we'll see how things proceed. But until you end that blockade of that concentration camp, it would be an utter and total betrayal of my own family's martyrdom to deny the right of those inmates, those infant inmates of that concentration camp to liberate themselves and to free themselves from that tyrannical <clears throat> that's been imposed on them. Hey,